Good evening, welcome to Interesting Talks. I hope that you're in a good place this evening. We're mostly out of lockdown now. I know that there's still some way to go, but we are free, so to speak. What are you going to do with your time? It's a limited resource. So today's talk is on your time. Like, share, leave comments. I enjoy reading your comments and I certainly will reply. And of course, other people will learn from your comments because each one teach one. Time has such a powerful effect on our lives. Yet we think little about it unless we have to. If we have an appointment, we try to be on time. On our birthday, we reflect on how we've lived yet another year. And if our children, if we have children, we're powerfully aware of the time that they spend and how quickly they grow with time. Other than these kinds of events, we just go about our life, our day, without noticing too much about time. So let's, let's take a moment and pause and let's reflect on these thoughts about time. Even if we aren't aware of it, time is present. Every second, every minute, every hour, every day. Sometimes we spend it consciously and carefully and sometimes without a thought at all. But we can't get away from spending it. It's a resource just like money. It's also finite and it gets used up. So it's not a question of if we are spending our time. It's a simple question of how we're spending our time. If we're aware of this, then we might feel highly motivated not to waste it. But what exactly does it mean, waste time? To waste is to use or expend carelessly or extravagantly or without purpose. But oftentimes we may seem wasteful use of time by important, by filling in healthy or productive stuff. Research has shown that even boredom, for instance, can lead to a better mental health state and increased activity. So this leaves the question, what does a waste of time actually look like or feel like? A pastime is an activity that one does for enjoyment or amusement rather than work. Is this a waste of time? Some might say it is. To spend time on activities that only simply you enjoy might seem as an extravagant use of time to some people. Others might disagree. What if work? is so enjoyable and feels like pleasure. Some people love their jobs and do it for enjoyment rather than the money or the prestige. Others might garden or build things or write a book simply for the enjoyment of it. Yes, they're earning money or producing something wonderful or creative, but it isn't the purpose of that activity, which is pure enjoyment. This would make the definition of these activities a pastime. Does that make them not worth doing? Sometimes we spend time getting an experience that is close to what we want, but not quite. We desire the experience of achievement, so we spend hours and days playing a video game, getting better and better at it. This might give us some experience of achievement, but not the deeper, more satisfying kind where we have actually achieved something worthwhile that has value and meaning. Likewise, we might spend hours meeting someone on a dating app, chatting, going out on a date and having a relationship with them in an attempt of intimacy. Again, this might give us something akin to experience of longing, what we're longing for, but not the totality of it all. It isn't possible for casual relationships to lead to the same thing or, or, or as an experience of a deep, intimate relationship that can you can get. Is this a waste of time? On the first pass, it might be. And if we ended up getting only approximations of experiences in our lives, rather than the full experience itself, then we might feel that time has been wasted. But if we end up learning and growing from those experiences, using them as a springboard into better experiences, then it's not a waste. In this way, evaluating how we spend our time, our choices about it is fairly subjective. One person's waste 
might be another person's enjoyment or an avenue for growth. Perhaps the real question has to do with conscious, conscious choice. Most of the time people feel that time has been wasted when they're not aware of the choices they make and let time go by passively. They spend time without thinking, without choosing, and suddenly time has gone. It feels like a waste. If we feel it might be a good time to spend an afternoon relaxing and just going with the flow, we might choose that as a way to relax and unwind and land sweetly in ourselves. But the same afternoon might feel like a total waste of time if it happened because we got caught up doing this and that and time just went by and then suddenly the afternoon is gone and we didn't really think about what we wanted or needed. It's the same afternoon, maybe even the same activities, but one could feel like a waste and the other feel like a total pleasure. You understand that? Want versus have to. Work and obligation versus pleasure. Pastime versus waste of time. Conscious versus unconscious choices. A step stone towards fulfillment versus unsatisfying experiences. These things seem like the opposite use of time, but the difference is actually paper thin, separated only by the consciousness of the decisions, the choice that you make or that we make. Time is precious. It's a precious resource. Spend it well. It's up to you to decide what looks what it looks like. As you can see, there's no real right or wrong way to spend time. It's what works for one person is a pleasure and what is a pleasure to somebody else is hard work to another. The key is to make conscious decisions what you do with your time. No matter how old or young you are, at some point, there will be no more time. I hope that you that you like this talk and it was food for thought and can help you to make choices on how you use your time. Do share with friends, family, workmates. Do leave comments. So until next week, take care. Try to stay positive and use your time the best way you know how. Bye for now.